A woman detailing everything she witnessed when she says her husband was forced to shoot and kill a man outside their home. San Antonio police say it started as an argument. The man killed has been identified by his family as 49 year old Esteban Barbosa. The night team's Jaffany Gray spoke with a woman who talked about the ongoing family feud and what happened this morning. She asked that her face not be shown. He's hurting mentally right now. It's killing him. He never wanted to have to use a gun ever to hurt anybody else. Elaine Casillas says she and her husband are beyond troubled by the deadly outcome of a fight. San Antonio police say it started after a man showed up to their home on Northwest 19th Street looking for his stepson. The stepson was dating the couple's daughter. He was honking forever, at, at least 20, 30 honks. It's him. Casilla says the two families have a strained relationship, which is why she had her husband call 911. So you need to tell him to leave. So he rolled down the window a little bit, started cussing, obscene, horrible language. Casilla says things took a turn for the worse. He's like a Superman coming out of his truck, racing, pushing the gate, making his way into my gate and opening the door and pushing us and we're shoving him back out. Get out of our house. Casilla says the man eventually grabbed her husband and the two men began to fight on the front porch. Police say the man allegedly swung a club at them. Casilla says after she was hit to the ground, her husband grabbed the gun. I just remember a faint But I was still dazed, getting up and I just turn around and that's where he just... She says she hopes the man's family forgives them, but also that this loss helps end the feud between them. He did not need to come over here, period. This could have all been avoided. Now, Barbosa's family say they deny what witnesses and the Casillas family told police. They say Barbosa did not have a weapon of any kind and was simply defending himself when he was shot. Now, it is unclear if the shooter in this case will face any charges as investigators work to determine if the shooting was justified. Daphne Gray, KSAT 12 News.